So this is part three of what I believe was a channel or a vision from our true creator, God, who I call Homer for home. Okay, so he decided after a while that he wanted to create something else, someone that he could live with on his own planet. So he went back into his laboratory and took his masculine and feminine aspect of his entity and divided it and created a man and a woman. The man was 100% male energy and had the entire aspect of the male entity. And the female was all feminine. So then his first creations from the splitting the masculine and the feminine energy was Lucifer and Eve, which is also the first penis and the first vagina. So since he created this, this is the very first penis and vagina, which created the very first child from the world. And uh, if you think about Pentagon, the Illuminati, and all the sounds of the dragon, and the penis of the dragon, and all, that's the reason it's all connected to that. <laughs> okay, so Lucifer and Eve. Now remember, Lucifer and Eve were created as a part of mother. Lucifer was all masculine energy, and he was created as a part of our fight with Homer. And Eve was created more like a child or a daughter. Lucifer was completely five senses. He had master qualities of sight, sound, smell, taste, and touch. He was a genius with science and mathematics and formulas, and he also had the entire blueprint of creation. He was all man, and Eva was more angelic and emotional. She was not so gentle in matter, and she could flow me with a new man. She was 100% emotions and extrasensory perception, feminine energy. Now, Lucifer did not have emotions when he was first created. Um, like the others, because he was created purely physical, all masculine. But in the moment of that he was created, he began to develop feelings and emotions very slowly. It would take a very, very long time for him to have the balance of his feminine energy. Just as he was not created physical, it would take a long time for her to develop her masculine energy. But what happened is he tricked her into, you know, because the more she interacted with the citizens and other people, and, um, you know, the penis and vagina were more that there was less about love and the sex, and he got her caught up in vanity, you know, and, and thinking that she was better than everybody else, and vanity and ego. And so she became more dense, way too fast, her masculine energy, so she kind of went, kind of real fast, more unnaturally. Okay, so, um, Lucifer did not have emotions like the others because he was created purely physical. Of course, in the moment of creation, he began to develop feelings and emotions that would take a very long time just to see the role of her masculine um, energy. So now this plan is much more lively, and God used to love the abnormal debates of Lucifer on science and mathematics. And he also realized that Lucifer was seven out of ten because Lucifer was, in fact, an intelligent living computer. So was God, but God had emotions, and when he created this for me, he did not know what the outcome would be of his creation of the two. He was just experimenting and experiencing. Um, he was just experimenting. And he realized that Lucifer was all knowledge, logic, and intellect, and also that he constantly satisfied his five senses in order to thrive. And he was very, very, very slowly growing the nerves and receptors for feelings and intuition and emotions. Lucifer and Homer would debate and test the wits of intelligence with each other, but sometimes God wished that Lucifer was not so serious because it was not that serious. Like if Lucifer wanted to debate, Homer would have a big Homer God, he would have a big heart of that. And then Lucifer would just stare at him blankly, and God would sigh and think to himself, wow, that's almost like he's not human. And then because God was a divine human, and so the other planets and tribes, tribes would come to see and visit and meet the new additions to the family. And it's not a testing to them because Lucifer did not smile or laugh or enjoy the colors or the cosmic roller coasters that flew from one planet to the next. And they found it nearly impossible to relate or understand to this Lucifer. Yeah. So the other people of the 12 tribes, the 12 planets, would come and visit. And Eva, since she was 100% of the female aspect of God, she also had the 12 chakras inside of her. And just had her flowers. So Homer and Eve were the only ones of the 12 functioning inside her. Although she was so basically. Well, although she was. Okay. 
the I'm not sure we have a but yeah, I have to be smart, so I have to share this, but you got a lot of time. Uh, I got more space to tell you about you guys, I'll see you, uh, boom, boom, boom.